Hello and welcome again to a new episode of Global Voices on Heart Rhythm TV. I'm your host, Juan Carlos Serpa. And today, we're going to talk about anatomy-guided conduction system pacing. And for that, an honor to receive a good friend from Madrid, Spain, Dr. Jose Angel Cabrera. Welcome to Heart Rhythm TV. Thank you, uh, Juan Carlos. It's a pleasure for me to be here to speak about uh, translational cardiac anatomy. Thank Excellent. Bienvenido. Muchas gracias. Let's I talk have seen that your Spanish is excellent. <laughs> let's, see, let's talk about the, the importance of the Hispurkinje. Yeah. Conduction system pacing is not new. It, we, we've been doing this from the past, but the tools get better and the importance and the effect of the conduction system pacing is now more in, in the media and everybody's talking about it. What do you think about it? Yes, it was, it was in 1893 that uh, his uh, junior described a cardiomyocyte, a specialized cardiomyocyte connecting the atria with the ventricle. But it was at the beginning of the last century that Sunao Tabara clarified the situation of the, how is the transition between the atria to ventricular component of the uh, insulated fibrous tissue of the atrioventricular junction. This insulated uh, tissue facilitates a synchronic and rhythmic contraction between yeah. the atria to the ventricle. And this contraction is uh, also facilitated a simultaneous contraction of the right and the uh, left ventricle. And this is the base that with the early capture of the conduction system, we have a physiological patient. Therefore, it's crucial to understand this anatomy of the AV conduction system. And the key anatomical aspects that we need to know to perform a his bundle pace. Yes, the, the his bundle is a narrow zone. And this is the first point that we need to take into account. That this is a very small area yeah. in the AV junction. This is the first point. The second point is that the transition between the compact AV node to the penetrating his bundle is not always at the vertex of the triangle of Koch. Okay. The membrane septum uh, chain of thickness and length, therefore, the transition of the compatible node can be an inferior location or a superior location. First point is a variable location of the compact AV node in the area of the AV junction. Second, this position can be more in the atrial position or more in the ventricle position. Yeah. And this change, how are the changes in the stability of the catheter in the AV junction? This is crucial. These three anatomic points are essential to understand how can we have a variable pacing threshold or a variable sensing in this area. Or even we need to review the voltage in the, in, in, in the time. No? Okay. And what is the difference with left bundle branch area pacing? And what are the benefits? Yes, and like the, the his bundle pacing area that it is very small, the uh, left band of band fiber are very extensive okay. in the subendocardial aspect of the left atrium. Therefore, from an anatomic point of view, these three branches are easier to reach when we approach the left bundle branch because the three branches are more extensive. Therefore, from an anatomic point of view, it's easier. And when is the future taking us with this conduction system pacing? Well, I think that we need to take two points. We need to learn about left bundle branch because there are a still a matter of controversy in the number. There are people who think that there are yeah. only two subdivisions of the left bundle branch. This is the first point, number, width. We need to, to have a 3D reconstruction of the left bundle branch to understand how can we achieve correctly the left bundle. Second, from an histological point of view, the thickness from the endocardium to epicardium, we need to learn about that. You know that the last point that we need to transmit to the new generation yeah. is architecture. We don't need only to understand the gross morphology. Architecture, architecture is not only the present, but also the future. To understand how is the fibroblast, how is the myofibroblast, yeah. how is the connective tissue, how is the interstitial fibrosis. Because, the, for example, the left bundle brand is not only something is a layer, is one, two, uh, 12 layer, but it's surrounded by a variable amount of connective tissue. Yeah. Architecture is the present 
but also the future. So anatomy keeps being the great and the most important thing that we need to know no, no to doubt. make our work easier. Of course. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much for spending and for okay. giving some time to Global Voices on Hard Rhythm TV. Thank you, Juan Carlos. It's a pleasure. Next time we will speak in Spanish. Con certeza. Lo haremos con español que será mucho mejor. Don't forget to follow Hard Rhythm TV on the YouTube channel and social media. And how's everybody? An amazing day.